let's see how we can use the magnitude of a, a colligative property or experimental data of a colligative property to calculate the molar mass of a solute. Look at this problem. Quinine was the first drug widely used to treat malaria, and it remains the treatment of choice for severe cases. I hope you will remember some studies were done using this to treat COVID in, uh, in 2020. A solution, let's get back to the problem. A solution prepared by dissolving 10.0 grams of quinine in 50.0 milliliters of ethanol has a freezing point 1.55 degrees of Celsius below that of pure ethanol. Yes, what is that amount? Yes, that is the delta Tf. Determine the molar mass of quinine. The density of ethanol is 0.789. We are given the density. We need the mass, right? Yes, we have the volume, so we can calculate the mass. Yes. Assume that quinine is a non-electrolyte. So what does that mean? Yes, I equals one. So we don't need to put the I as the coefficient because it's just one. We first find, calculate the mass of the solvent, which is ethanol. We multiply the volume by its density and we get 39.0 grams, which is in kilograms, it is 3.95. <clears throat> it is 39.5. Next, we calculate the molality. Now we are going backward. Right. Molality equals the change of freezing point divided by the Kf. Are we given the Kf? Yes, we are given the Kf uh, ethanol, yes, we will be given always that number will be given. It is 1.99. So we divide that the freezing point change by the Kf and we find the molality. Next, we find the moles of quinone. Then we need to multiply the <clears throat> what is molality? Molality equals moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. So in order to calculate the moles, we need to multiply the molality by the kilograms of the solvent. This is the uh, <clears throat> uh, molality and this is the kilograms of the solvent and we get the moles of quinine. We have the moles and what else we should have? We need the grams. Yes, it is given. So we divide that in order to find the molar mass of the solute, which is squeezing. 